so sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming if you're a single girl and you're like so what am i gonna do because i'm gnashing <laughs> So today we are talking about vows day. Yes, vows day. So I'm going to just give you a couple of tips. So if this is your first time trying to survive vows day as a single girl, I got you, sis. I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> I know how it goes. Anyway, but before that, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's Nana Addresses, and follow me on Instagram. It's going to be somewhere down below. Let's get right into the video. Okay. So first things first. Ah, <sighs> vows day. You know the celebratory day that has been made to be a day for couples to all feel in love and all that kissy kiss kind of stuff so sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming if you're a single girl and you're like so what am i gonna do because i'm gnashing <laughs> let me tell you how many times your girl has gnashed well i'm not gonna say that on camera but i know a thing or two about you know not having somebody comes for you on vows day so i have a code that spoil yourself the way you would want to be spoiled okay so if you want someone to buy you flowers get you some flowers in your room if you want someone to you know get you expensive gifts how about you just order yourself that expensive gift or that cake personally i eat cake every day so i don't have to wait for vows day to get cake and chocolate <laughs> but there are sorts of same things that you can do to put yourself in the vows day mood. And that's what I'm here to talk with you guys about. By the way, um, you know this is a hair channel, so of course you have to get into <laughs> the hair. If you haven't washed your braids, if you have braids like me and you haven't washed your braids, make sure you do so. By the way, if you want to know how to wash your braids at home, I have a video. Go check out my previous video, shameless vlog. But yes wash your hair when your hair is clean you have a very cleansing shower then you know you're on track to enjoying your vows day now that that is out of the way after you're done washing your hair you want your hair to smell nice one thing i can tell you is that using certain essential oils as your final sealing oil you mix that in with you know your sealing oil and use that as your final sealant for your hair will leave your hair smelling amazing but if you don't have braids like me, but you have maybe a weave or a wig or even your own hair, there are amazing ways you can do to make your hair still smell just as great. So one way you can do that is that, like I said, essential oils as your final sealing oil. Make sure you use a sweet smelling shampoo or conditioner. Or you can even drop in some of your, your favorite essential oils like lavender and um, yes. I'm trying to remember lavender chamomile um jasmine essential oil yes those tend to smell very sweet if you like kind of minty scents you can also add some peppermint to make it smell really good then you put that in your hair another trick is to spray your personal perfume on your comb or your brush before combing it through your hair it leaves you know a faint chill off your perfume in your hair so now whenever you know the wind is blowing your hair <laughs> you're going to smell amazing okay speaking of smelling amazing we're going to come to you know our body 
how to make sure that our body is smelling sweet whether we are going out on a date or we are staying indoors one thing you can do is perfumes i love sweet scented perfumes like vanilla aha vanilla is what i don't think i'm thinking about i love sweet scented perfumes make sure you're using you know a very sweet scented body wash to make sure that you have very nice thing going on one body wash that i absolutely love is bodycology victoria's secret they have some very very nice ones available as well as the body splash so when you use the body washes the body splash and some of the hand creams you know make it smell good in general another thing is to also use very sweet smelling perfume i'm going to you know insert some clips of my perfumes and stuff i don't know if it's in the beginning or if it's at the end but or if it's somewhere in the middle but yes i do have a little montage of some sweet smelling perfumes that i personally use they work very well with my body chemistry as compared to others so yes find a perfume that works for your body chemistry and run with it like you use that you're gonna smell super good so if you're like me i'm staying indoors you can just smell that on your body and then just chill in your bed because it's Valentine's day you can just have some fun chill in your bed whilst you watch some movies now back to the scents I am the kind of person that a certain sense can put me in a very, very amazing mood, especially when I want to sleep or if I want to, I don't know, reflect on my life, I guess, or journal. So one thing I do is I actually spray my bed, so my pillows, my headboard, and my curtains. So I have um, a certain brand, it's called Bon Bon by Malaysia. They have very fresh scents. So those are the ones that I normally use in my pillows, in my bedding, in my curtains, and then in my headboard. So I spray those things and also the flowers over there. So I spray things that are easily absorb it and also, you know, my uh, nighty that I'm going to wear for that night. I spray those things and then, so it leaves, you know, that whole sweet smelling scent throughout the room the entire night. And I absolutely love it. Because of that, to date... When I smell like a similar scent outside, it just reminds me of, you know, the coziness of my room, you know, just being indoors, sleeping, and I just want to go home. <laughs> but yeah, that's just something you can do. Now, lingerie. I know this is something that some people have an issue with. Some people think that lingerie should be worn for your man or for whoever you're dating. I don't put in, like me, I think you should wear lingerie for yourself. Personally, sometimes I wear lingerie to work. Like, it's underneath my clothes. There's work appropriate lingerie, by the way, you can wear that. It's not like, you know, creating certain discomfort. And then there's some that are specifically for bed. And some that you can wear as every day. So, yes, that's something I actually do. So, I'm going to show a couple. Like, there's three of them. So, if you are somebody you don't like anything that's tugging at you, searching you in, pressing you, sucking the light up out of you, but it's still sexy enough, you can go in for like the right option. If you are a little bit risky, you want to you know, show a little skin, get in the mood, you can go for the red one. And yes, they come in all kind of colors, all kind of shapes, depending on what you're in for. You like a little bit of, you know, dominatrix stuff, you like a lot of corsets. There is something for you. You just need to, you know, find out what works for you. By the way, you can get some lingerie from various shops in Ghana. I know that Beautifully Beneath, <laughs> Beautifully Beneath has a couple. Aha Intimates also has a couple. By the way, this is not sponsored by them. I'm just giving them a shout out because I know that they have amazing stuff there. The Aha Intimates is usually the one I tend to, you know, pop in because they are right at the Accra Mall, so it's very easy to access them. Then, there is also a bit you need. You can find them on Instagram. They also have very nice lingerie. You go, they measure your bra size. They ask you what you're looking for, then they provide those for you. Okay, moving on. <laughs> okay, moving on. Another thing you can do. Aha! Before you even put in your lingerie, make sure you leave a scent inside. Like spray it. So that's something I do. If I know I'm going to go out on a date, I layer everything I wear from my lingerie to my dress, from my skin to my lingerie to my dress to my hair. Everything is going to smell. And it's funny because I layer them in different ways. So if I know that I want to have the sweet smelling one as a final thing in my dress, 
I make sure that my skin has a fresh scent, a very clean scent. Then, or it mirrors, you know, the scent of what I'm going to be leaving in my dress. So it's going to be like a continuous flow. Then my undergarments, I'm going to have something a bit fruity, something citrusy, or with something with a very clean scent. Yes, I use that. Then my hair and then my body gets the rest of the stuff I'm going to be wearing. So that's something you can do. It really, really, really goes a long way. And because of that, the person will be smelling different things like, what are you wearing? Like, you're smelling really good. That's a trick you should look out for. You're not going to have like one generic scent. No, you're going to have an amazing scent. And the amazing thing about citrus and sweet scents is that they work very well together. And they're going to work with your body chemistry. So as the night wears on, the scent is going to mature some more. So that's a tip for you. Okay, now speaking of activities. If you're going to go out for a date, then you're already sorted. But it's always important to make sure you are elegant on your date. Please don't go and overeat. I get it. Somebody's spending. You want to order everything on the menu. Don't be that chick. Just, just don't be that chick. Don't do that. Because, okay, moving on. Now, if you're like, we're going to be lounging at home in bed. <laughs> Make sure you have activities packed. Okay, so what you can do is that you can get some very, some sweets, stuff you like. Some chocolate, some cake, some candy, some ice cream. And put on, you know, a thread of your favorite chick flicks. There are a couple, I believe it's a recommended down below. 27 dress. Okay, don't watch that out because I like, you know, the feel good kind. Catherine Heigl has some amazing ones. 27 dresses, the wedding planner. Ugh. You can even watch Korean series or Chinese series, whatever one you're into. But watch fun stuff or watch vintage movies. Like, I love vintage movies. Like, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, Marilyn Monroe movie. There is um, a Dorothy Dandridge movie that I absolutely love. There is, she was, she played Carmen Jones. She was very sexy, very, uh, uh. I really love that about her. You get to watch Dynasty, you know, old vintage movies to put you in a very happy mood learn some form of elegance from those ladies before you go to bed super essential okay you can also decide to play games with people online what do i mean by playing with people online okay so you can play like a truth or dare we're going to post it on social media or on your whatsapp and other singles like you who knows somebody might shoot their shot and next year not going to be alone <laughs> or if you just love your solitude you can read a very good book or catch up on your sleep if you're like me you love to sleep the only good thing is that this year vows day is on the weekend so you can get to sleep in some more even if you go out for activities one other thing you can do as a single person is go out like don't worry i know it's a bit uncomfortable but go out i promise you you'll meet other single people who are also just chilling around town go out have fun there are a couple of spots around town that you can just hop into see what's happening there and then everything will be great so i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe i know this is different from what i normally post on my channel but like i said your girl is great and i wanted to show you guys a couple of things that i do open up a bit more and through it all do not forget to stay hydrated water is important so make sure you drink water okay as always and i'll see you in my next video Hit the like button. bye